Well, hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Been a while since we heard that one. Hi, so uh, I decided to start a new Let's Play. And most of you will know if you've been watching my videos that I only just recently started fucking about with um, photo shoot mods. And one thing I've definitely decided is that I wanted to do a Let's Play based around that because I find it enjoyable. So uh, I've created a new challenge, a model challenge. Now I'm sure, pretty certain, that I'm not the first person to do a Let's Play based around being a model, but this is the only Let's Play that has my made up rules. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through the rules with you um, because I'm hoping that some of you maybe might even feel like you want to get involved and do it too and uh, I'd love to see it. And there will be opportunity to share um, your journeys with everybody. I think it'd be cool to build like a little community, you know, get something going on together, have a little party. So uh, without further ado, before I get onto the Let's Play, let me just explain the idea, all right? So the whole idea of this is that the uh, the photo shoot mods are essentially going to be used as a career, like a model career. And it's the kind of thing that you could, you could do a rags to riches with, say, because you start with like, well, you don't start with nothing, but you're not going to start with like bank, you know, but uh, basically you have a set amount that you get paid. So when you first start off as a model, you get paid 1000 simoleons for every shoot and you can't do any more than three shoots a day. So I kind of, it's a little bit like the brothel challenge where it's a thousand per shag. I thought that would be a good benchmark, a thousand per shoot, no more than three shoots a day, okay? After you've done 10 shoots, you then get paid more, you can then get 3,000 simoleons a day. And then after 15 shoots, guess what? You get another promotion, you go up to 5,000 a day. And then after 20 shoots, you are then pretty much, you know, big time. You get 10,000 simoleons every single shoot after 20 shoots. Of course, with it being a challenge, it does come with some rules. I know, no one likes rules, but I have some. So here are the rules. There aren't many. Um, your model must complete uh, a themed shoot during every season. So you have to do at, at least one summer shoot, autumn, all of that. You don't have to do it every single season. You just have to do at least one per season. That makes sense? Good. Glad we understand each other. Uh, also, you have to do at least one shoot per festival. So that's uh, San Myshuno festivals and also the ones you get in um, Mount Komarebi. Again, you don't have to do a shoot every time the festival happens, but through the, the whole duration of this challenge, you need to at least at one point do one shoot in every festival. And then finally, after you do 10 shoots, you then have the opportunity to do a vacation assignment. So you can go to another world, you can choose which one, but you have to do three shoots while you're there and you can stay no more than three days. And also you can give your sim an extra 2,000 simoleons to go towards expenses. Also, uh, other than that, there is an opportunity for you to share your creations with me and everyone else on Instagram. Upload your, um, upload your photo shoot pics with the hashtag Sims4Shoots, that's on Instagram, and uh, then you'll be able to see everyone else's photo shoots, get some inspiration for your own, and also you can put yours out there, you know? Let people see your hard work, you deserve it. Anyway, that's enough of uh, all that. Hope everyone understands, and I hope you want to get involved, because I really want you to. Let's get on with the actual Let's Play. And here is our model. This is Cherry, Cherry Sims. Thought I'd get really creative with the name, you know. So she's pretty much going to be the star of the show, I guess. Um, we're just going to be following her on her journey. She's... Uh, She's kind of a nobody, but she has this dream of becoming a famous model. And uh, we're going to try and make this dream a reality, you know? Give the people what they want. So this is Cherry. She lives in San Myshuno in a very nice apartment with her brother, Jeremy. Jeremy and Cherry are... They're not twins, but they're basically like twins. They're best mates. They do everything together. They grew up with quite a lot of privilege, you know, they have a lot of money um, and you'll see that when you see where they live, but they are also very irresponsible. They never really learned like the value of money or the value of, well, anything really, you know, they're just 
spoiled little shits, basically. But they've only just moved out of their parents' house. Their uh, parents and their grandma live in Brindleton Bay, so you might see them floating around, who knows. But they've decided it's time to get some independence and uh, move out. So the two of them live in a penthouse suite in San Myshuno. Let's take a look. Oh, actually, before I show you around, I'll just introduce you to... Um, this is Sean. Sean is Jeremy's new boyfriend. Uh, they, they're they very new. They only recently met when they moved to San Myshuno. So it's early days, but, you know, they're both hopeful. They're both hopeful. And Sean is... Uh, also really good friends with Cherry, kind of has to be. I don't think Jeremy would go out with anyone who isn't, you know, getting on with Cherry. Oh, okay, see you later, Cherry. Bye. Just walk away, you snag. So that's the situation there. This is their apartment. They have a penthouse apartment, although they don't really have a lot of money. They only have like a few hundred simoleons. I didn't want them to start out as proper little rich kids because this challenge does involve like monetary monetary goals so it would make no sense for them to start with like tens of thousands of simoleons so in this uh let's play they've basically just been gifted this apartment uh from their parents who are you know quite well off and they don't really know what to do with it you know like their furniture is pretty mishmash like they're quite they quite like the bohemian style, but they don't really know what matching furniture is. They're both big into Instagram, so they have this little corner here where they can just sit and take selfies, I guess, you know. And then over here is just like a little office section where they, I guess, edit their photos and stuff, you know, keeping with the uh, photo shoot theme. Dining area, kitchen area, Pretty standard. I mean, very nice, but, you know, pretty standard. I kind of left the bathroom as it came because I'm going to level with you guys. I really couldn't be asked. you know? I really couldn't be fucked to redo an, an entire apartment. So the outside section is pretty much the same. Uh, it's just this little, like, conservatory area where I kind of thought, you know, they're quite young. They live in a lively city. They might invite people over. So this is... Just a little bit of a party area. And then upstairs, here you have Cherry's bedroom. You can't really see it very well because I've noticed when you're using the tab button and like zooming in and out in San Myshuno, it kind of crumbles the picture a little bit like that. The game doesn't really know what to do with that, but that's Cherry's room. This is Jeremy's room, pretty plain, pretty basic for a basic bitch, you know. And then this is the bathroom, so... That's the place. Probably not going to see much of it because I imagine we're going to be out and about quite a lot. Where are you sleeping? Oh no, he's sleeping on the Instagram sofa. <gasps> Cherry's going to have to wake him up, kick him out. That sofa's not actually there to be a sofa. We have a sofa that's a sofa. This is just there for Insta. But that's, uh, that's everything. I wanted to try and kick this off with a photo shoot, but it's like 12am and I was kind of planning on starting off with a daytime shoot so instead i'm going to send them both to bed and we'll start this challenge fresh in the morning shall we okay oh look at them having fun all right guys well we've got a photo shoot to do okay so stop dicking around come on guys pull your fucking finger out we got somewhere to go oh actually you know what i need to do oh fuck i don't know if i thought of this I bet I fucking didn't, did I? I need to buy him a camera. He doesn't have any photography skills, but, um, so basically because Cherry, <laughs> she, she's like, thumbs up, and he's like, thumbs down. Cherry wants to be a model. Mentioned that, understood, okay. But she doesn't have any money, you know? They they weren't given any, like, startup funds to be like, hey, guys, you know, go and fulfill your dreams. They were just given a nice place to live. So she can't afford things like um, a photographer and stuff like that for her first shoot. The first shoot is very um, amateur, you know. So her brother, who is also unemployed, he's kind of decided to join, like hop onto her boat and help her with her journey. So he's going to be her photographer. But you know, I was going to be cheeky and give him a nice camera beforehand. But then I spent all the fucking money... So he's just going to have to take 
an, am uh, an appreciably average digital camera. Oh, fuck. And now they only have a hundred simoleons. Oh, well, what can you do? At least we'll get paid after our first shoot. So come on, guys, we've got somewhere to be. We need to make a start on this uh, portfolio of ours. Should we bring Sean along? Yeah, he might cheer us on. Yeah, bring Sean. Why not? More the merrier. <laughs> the mod. Just still the mod. Until I uninstall it by mistake, which would have to be my by mistake because I have no idea what this is even called, how I got this. <laughs> but until that's uninstalled, I'm just going to keep finding it amusing every single time. Right, so we're going to start modestly. Their family are from Brindleton Bay. They know the area. So I'm going to send them to take a picture, maybe somewhere on like the coastline or something. So let's just go here and we'll take our first photo shoot. I'm so excited, guys. But, you know, don't you get excited, because as I said, it's the first shoot. It isn't going to be anything special, okay? Right, first things first, I want to get Cherry changed. I did pre-make a lot of outfits for her, but I don't think I decided on what, which outfit she should wear for this shoot, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. Maybe just something like this. You know, just something chill, something laid back, you know? Like, I just threw this together even though I spent hours trying things on. Yeah, that's what's happening there. Right, let's go to the coast. What do you want, you leeching cunts? I hate seagulls. Anytime I've encountered seagulls, I was in uh, Brighton, near the pier, like Brighton Beach. This was years ago, but I didn't forget. And uh, I was eating a little plate of chips. And I remember um, I was in Brighton because my friends and I were having a big gay night out. And... Um, the next day, we decided to go to the beach before driving home, and it was, we were so hung over, and we just wanted to get some fish and chips, you know? So I had some chips, and I'm a vegetarian, so I didn't have any fish. All I had was just a little bowl of chips, and what fucking happened? Those little flying rats came and stole the whole lot. I'll never forgive them for that, the little fucking pricks. So, uh, yeah, there you go. I don't like seagulls. No fact you learn about me. Maybe let me know in the comments which kind of animals you fucking despise. <laughs> Such passion over a bloody bird. Sorry, guys, sorry. I'm just going to get my composure back. All right, let's find her some poses. Um, I mean, we don't really want anything too fancy, do we? It's only, like, the beach. What's this? The trouble is some of these poses I downloaded, I downloaded fucking a load of them. And some of them haven't come up with like the pictures or the names. So it's difficult to tell what I'm actually getting there, you know? Okay, so let's start with the first pose. Oh, for goodness sake, there we are fucking posing. And there you are, dicking about with your boyfriend. Oh, Sean, this wasn't a good idea inviting you. You're being a distraction. You're going to have to go away. Sorry, go away. Okay, I'm going to step back a little bit. Step back. We want to get the beach in shot, you know? That's what. That's where the money is. And those fucking seagulls better fuck off. Okay, right. Let's go. Come on. What are you waiting for? Okay, here's the first shot. Not sure if it's the best angle, though, you know? I don't know. But that's fine. We'll take more. We'll take more. Okay, that's a bit better. It's a little bit more photo shoot-like, isn't it? Slightly. Okay, let's see your next pose. Oh, okay, okay. This is the only trouble when you're taking pictures on a lot where you can't use a tripod is that you don't actually, you can't get him to get down on her level, you know? Although that one's, although that one's quite nice. All right, let's see the next pose. Uh, that one, that one's not really working for you, I think. You look a little bit stoned, if I'm honest with you. You look like you've been hitting the pipe a fair bit in the last couple of hours. So I think we're going to skip this one. Oh, that is a good one. That's a good one. There we go. That is an Insta pick. 
Okay, Cherry, what else have you got? Yeah, uh, that one's a bit boring. That one's quite sweet. Take that one for my gallery. There we go, just gazing into the sunset. Yeah, that's what that's all about. Yeah, yeah. Art. Art. That one, you look like you should be a 14-year-old anime Japanese girl walking out of school. That's like that kind of pose, isn't it? With that beautiful little stoned expression on your face. It's like all sweet and innocent, but she's got a cheeky side. Butter wouldn't melt, but we'll have a spliff. All right, that's enough of that. That's enough. Well done, guys. That's a, a good first try. Was it the best? No, but it was your first try. So, well done. You've earned yourselves a ka -ching. I think we will have time to do another photo shoot today, but, you know, Cherry and Jeremy, they, uh, they can't really cook, and uh, they're probably going to get hungry, so I'm going to send them to go and get some food, and then it is night on the town, so maybe, yeah, Sean can come along this time, and so maybe we'll go out later. Oh, that's right, you slay, queen, you slay. All right, let's go get some food. Only the best for you kids, eating at the finest establishment. Who knows, maybe we'll even see Sir Ronald. If you want this, I'll put the stuff on the gallery from where I got it. There you go. But in the meantime, let's get some fucking fries, guys. <laughs> I love how because this has to work with um, dine out, you have to like sit at the table and be waited on. You know, like in the real McDonald's where you you go to the waiter and they you go to the host and they find you a table and then people serve you. On the bright side, their host is a vampire, so he's super quick. The true, authentic McDonald's experience. I'm excited to see the menu. They better have nugs. Man, I'm gonna be so pissed if they don't have nugs. Who knew McDonald's had such good lighting? Okay, guys, what are we ordering? Let's uh, order for the table, why not? We're the queen of this castle. <gasps> Love potion. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, start the day with a fucking bang. We're going to have some love potion. Main course, what have we got? Well, we kind of have as much McDonald's-y kind of food as, as we can. We do have burgers. Three of your finest veggie burgers, please, my good man. And I think we'll call it a day. I think we'll leave the McFlurry for today. We do have some more shoots, so, you know, you don't want to look like a fat bitch. A fun fact, as I'm playing this, I'm eating McDonald's. I'm not joking, you can hear the rapper as well. Inspiring stuff, guys, inspiring stuff. Oh, thank you very much for our food. One time I was in a uh, McDonald's in England and I saw this guy working in the like kitchen bit and he dropped a pancake and the little swine, he picked it up from the floor <laughs> and um, put it back in the tray. Obviously, I didn't order pancakes. I wonder if he ever got fired. I mean, obviously, I didn't snitch. You know the saying, snitches get stitches, right? I didn't want to fucking die. I didn't know what that bloke was capable of. If he really has the bollocks to drop a pancake, pick it up and then put it back in the pan without a second thought, then there is no way I was going to take my chances. So, moral of the story is, don't be surprised if your pancakes have footprints. Guys, you need to get your act together. This establishment is sickening. I mean, yes, we have our cocktails, and yes, we have our veggie burgers, but look at what is surrounding them. Jeez, McDonald's, you need to get a fucking grip. This has really pissed me off. Do you think this is a good enough, in a good enough excuse to leave a bad review on, on Yelp? I know it's not McDonald's McDonald's, but it's virtual McDonald's. <laughs> Could you imagine looking at fucking Yelp review? Every time I've been there in person, it's been great, but when I played it in The Sims, it was a fucking shit show. One star. Won't stop it, us from washing down our cocktails, eh, lads? Okay, that's enough. We're leaving. We have another photo shoot. We have another photo shoot to do. Haven't got time for this, because we want to make time for a drink after. 
What's the point in doing work if you can't go for a drink after? Okay, this time I splashed out a little bit more than I did for the first photo shoot. I have actually built a set. I kind of feel like once you get your first shoot out of the way, get a little bit of experience, you can afford to have somewhat of a decent set. You know, just like they do in real life. One photo shoot, set for life, you know? The fuck are you guys doing here? Okay, so this is our set. She is such a basic bitch, but... She does the job. So she has some bathrooms, a bar over here, coffee machine, a few food stands, you know, it's hungry work, posing. We also have a little makeup station here, and then we have the actual set over here. It's not for three people, I just put three of these things here so that I remember to move her around a little bit, you know? So first things first, I'm going to get her changed, because I did, I did kind of plan an outfit for this shoot. All right, sweetheart, let's get you changed. Wanted to give her like an edgy look for this. Edgy, colourful, you know, artsy-fartsy. And that's, that's where I ended up, basically. Right, so let's set you up with some poses. And I think for this one, I haven't used this before, but let's see what this is like, the Billie Eilish pose pack. <laughs> let's get her to do all of these little poses. Hopefully one of them turns out okay. Go on then, girl. And then Jeremy, you can come over. Kind of wanted to do like a rooftop graffiti looking thing. I mean, I think it turned out okay, even if I say so myself. Yeah, look at that face. That is the fashion face, just the face that's just being pissed off. Because that's what fashion is most of the time, you know, it's just being fucking pissed off. All right, guys, let's go into full-on photo shoot mode. You got this. Oh shit, guys, I told you McDonald's couldn't be trusted. All right, superstar, that's enough of that. You can stop now. We got what we wanted. All right, guys, well, everyone's done a good job. Let's, uh, let's go to the bar and celebrate, shall we? It is night on the town, after all. Let's go to Sparkle Karaoke Bar. I downloaded a few lots from the gallery for this world. I thought, let's, let's spice things up a bit, you know? I mean, you can get changed out of that now if you want. <laughs> You can put your normal clothes back on now. There we go. All right, all right. Well, Sean's not here, so night out for brother and sister it is then. Let's get a drink. Let's find out uh, her favorite drink. Let's find out his favorite drink too, why not? Oh, I knew I was forgetting something. I'll show you the, uh, the build and then where you can get it from the gala. This is a karaoke bar. So, the details are up on the screen if you want to go get it yourselves. There you go. This is one of my favourite bits, is finding out what their favourite drinks are, you know? It really lets you know what kind of sim you're dealing with. What kind of girl are we? Are we a sweet and spicy? Are we a glass of white wine? Do we just like a sparkling water, like Dirk? Oh, whoever that is singing has a glorious voice, I'm going to find out. She's got some pipes on her. She does look like she needs to go to the hospital, though. Well done, Sim. Well done. Back to the bar. Oh, what did you get? What did you get? So we are a zebra fizz. Okay, all right. And what are you? Just a beer. Well, what are you two thinking? Do you want to do a little sibling duet? Is her song going to finish soon? Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Sing duet, sing duet. Oh, we only have the option to sing country. Come on, kids, let's make our mother proud. Oh no, someone else is stepping up. Oh, you were too slow. Well, we had a successful night on the town and that's the main thing. Here we go, it's our time to shine. You guys. 
come on, there must be a bit more talent in there. It's his voice. <laughs> they are so cute. You wait, by the end of this Let's Play, they're both going to be superstars. They're going to be raking in tips. Oh, do you know what I just realised? I didn't pay her for her photo shoot that she just did on the rooftop. Well done, guys. That was beautiful. Right, let's go home. It's 3am and we have one last photo shoot to do in this episode. You are alright there? You having a bad dream? Alright, time to go to... <laughs> survived food poisoning. Time to go to our final shoot of the episode. I've built a little set. Um, it's nothing special. It's just a little set with some trailers in it where we can... Um, I thought we could use it for a few shoots, so that's the plan. Here we are. Okay, so today we're going to do a black and white photo shoot, so I'm going to get her changed into something a little bit more classy. And this here are four little trailers. The other rooms aren't decorated because I haven't decided what sets they're going to be. But this one is done. This is just like a standard, I guess, boudoir themed shoot, I guess. So let's find some poses for you, Cherry. Let's see, let's see. I think this shoot is going to be one of those, like, uh, sensual ones. You know, one that you'd see, like, a perfume ad for or something. All right, let's see your first pose. Oh, very serious. Okay, come and take a photo. It's a classy look for a classy girl. Okay, we'll do this one quite far away. Black and white, because it's classy. And we'll do a uh, portrait style as well. Classy. And then we'll do a close-up, you know, very Jackie Kennedy. Very classy. Yeah. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. Let's see your next pose. Oh, that is classy as fuck. That's a good one. Yeah. Black and white. Oh, perfect. Probably should have covered the tattoos in hindsight, you know? There we go. There we go. What a great success. I don't know if he's going to be able to capture that one, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the problems with the tripod, is you can't really... Maybe one like that? Oh, that is classy. Yeah. And then maybe one of like a zoomed in... Just a very serious face, you know, like you've got a lot on your plate. Yeah. Okay, what's next? Oh, okay. Almost like you're wiping some frosting off your face. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. That's the stuff. Art. Art. Okay, one more. Oh, God. All right. Last one. Make it count. Is it just me, or does she just look like she's in distress? Take this one, the uh, the old arms out. And then we'll get a full length, you know, with the room in there as well. Include everything. Beautiful. Well, well done, well done. And that's the last shoot of the day done. So, of course, I'll pay you, you know. No tips, though. You didn't, you know, completely outdo yourself. You did do the bare minimum, though. So, there's your ka -ching. Well done, guys. Feel free to head home. And uh, that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe if you want. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. Do what you want. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.